This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights China issues are still... The term Ubuntu. Oh, the Alien and Sedition accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Ho Franklin Center. This tension between modernity and tradition is at the heart of Quebec cultural expression since the Quiet Revolution, okay? Meaning since the 60s. To what extent the Quebec road movie complicates Orgeron's Franco-American encounter is something that I'm going to pursue. Rem um, all of Quebec cinema could be said to be the result of a Franco-American encounter, although I wouldn't say all Quebec cinema is hysterical. But I like that Corrigan's idea of hysteria helps us understand two people who get in a car, go on the road, and sort of, you know, kill and maim and do all sorts of things and you sort of figure out, well, what is the point of this? And, I, and that, that, th there's a lot we could say about that, but the, the way Corrigan calls it hysterical, I think is very useful. Um, because it doesn't know how to do anything else. I think there's something you could say. For the, for the moment, what I'm interested in is the road movie not simply as a metaphor, um, at any quest or any journey as a metaphor of a search for self, or we could say all sorts of things. But what I want to see is how you rep we represent Quebec's space. Like, what do we see when we go on the road in Quebec cinema? Um, and I, what I mean then is discretionary movement through a vast, expansive landscape in a mechanized vehicle, which I see as a quintessentially American theme. Thinking about space on the road in Quebec culture brings us to the concept of Americanité, okay? a term which began to circulate more widely in Quebec in the 1980s, and I think in various people that have come to the center over the last few years. I know Melinda Santoro probably talked about Americanité something that, and you've talked about it, Jane has also worked on it. Um, it's some very interesting when we try and bring Quebec and the United States together, this idea of Americanité, but what does it mean? Some people say it means both Americanness and Americanization, okay? For historian uh, Gérard Bouchard, Americanité encompasses a whole host of ways of seeing Quebec's relationship with the continent, from referencing colonial French America to an indigenous conception of Quebec identity, to a post-modernity synonymous with cultural fracture and nomadism. Accused by many of wanting to sever Quebec's ties to France, ooh la la. Bouchard, yeah, that's a, that's a big deal, okay, in Quebec, if you're accused of that. Bouchard argues instead for an Americanité as a symbolic expansion, okay, as a rerouting or putting down roots which in French is, in French is réenracinement, and I'm not trying to be, you know, show off my French like Newt Gingrich here. I'm just saying <laughs> that rerouting sounds like going to the dentist, okay? It's not like putting something in your sink. It's réenracinement, which is a, take, a, a taking root again, which the prefix de ré in French helps us to say. So a rerouting, not a surrender to the inevitable presence of U.S. culture, but a, embracing a given. What is this given? Quebec's continental insertion, that's what he calls it, Within, with its own sensibilities, history, territoriality, and I mean territoriality in the sense of anthropology here, I think that's what he means, a way of behaving within a territory. A recognition then of a local popular social, a whole host of local popular social practices in Quebec that the elites in, in history, and this is all about the whole debates about history in Quebec, that the, the elites have always chosen to ignore. Okay? Both of these films, Route 132 and Crying Out, in my view, illustrate this desire for réenracinement, so rerouting, in a re-elaboration of Quebec identity through its local environment. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.